Hey guys, I'm gonna take you through a quick run through of how to use NMaker Mint and use the NFT collection feature where you can mint up to 15 NFTs. So as you can see, NFT collection is already selected. Now you're gonna press the next button, which will then take you to create your collection where you will add your collection details. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Sloth Gurus in my collection name. In my description, I'm gonna put Enlightened Sloths from a bygone era. And for my project linked, I'm gonna input my Twitter link. I'm gonna select NMaker personal license for license. And you can read the details here where it says read license so you can know what exactly you're giving your buyers. Now I'm gonna upload the cover image. Make sure to read the requirements below. Now time to set the royalties. I'm gonna put 5%. Now you can choose the selling option. I'm gonna go ahead and put the for sale option so that people can buy my NFTs. Or I can select the mint only option, but this will basically make it so that I mint the NFTs and I can basically send them out to anybody or I can put them in a, a marketplace or pretty much do whatever you want with them. And below it says available from November 3rd, 2022, 12 a.m. So if I select this or leave it as is, it will basically be available to mint right away. Now I'm gonna put my wallet address where it says payout wallet and press next. Now it's time to upload all the files I wanna mint. I'm gonna drag and drop 12 files, PNG files. After it's unloading, go ahead and press next. So now I'm gonna select the files to create the NFTs. So as you can see, I just uploaded my first file and I'm gonna name it Bazi Dune. Description, the eldest of the sloth gurus. And I'm gonna put the token name, Bazi Dune. Make sure to not leave any spaces in between and follow the description below. Now I'm gonna add tags. I'm gonna click AI, animal, and nature. So I'm gonna repeat the same step for the rest of my sloth gurus, about 11 of them now. And yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I've uploaded all the metadata for all the NFTs. Now I'm gonna select next, and a pop-up's gonna come up asking me, are you ready to mint your NFTs? You will not be able to edit or change them afterwards. Please make sure your NFTs are all set up the way you want them to be. So yeah, I double checked them, make sure the metadata was good. Um, now I'm gonna click this checkbox here and select continue. Okay, here it is my nft collection as you can see it says the sloth gurus the date that it was minted or created and you can even see here that it says the minting links are active until the nfts have been minted and sold copy the link of each nft to sell and mint directly via nmaker pay and it also tells you the service fee of 2 ada on top of the variable cardano blockchain network fee of approximately 0.2 ada so yeah there you have it i have all my NFTs here, you can copy the links individually and pretty much put them wherever you want. But before you leave this window, make sure not to click out yet, click the export links to PDF. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna export the links to a PDF. I'm gonna save them on my computer or my hard drive rather. And there you go. And now I'm gonna go to my Twitter and I'm gonna show you exactly how to share your NFTs, or at least one of them. I'm gonna put made something for fun using NMaker Mint, and there you have it. An easy way to make your NFT collection up to 15 NFTs without any coding, uh, without any marketplace, 
just one easy to use interface and yeah, easy to follow instructions. And yeah, if you like this uh, video, uh, like it, comments if you wanna see more. This is just something from my personal collection. Of course, you'll be seeing a lot more of these uh, from the InMaker page. Thanks for watching, guys.